just got here even before I saw everything that was going on. Hello, 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 hello. All righty. So, yes, Julie, it is cold here. We are chilly, chilly down in Georgia. I think it's it's the it's winter saying, not quite yet, people. Don't get excited. Do not plant any vegetables. That's what it's telling me because we're starting to get a little anxious. And so, you know, why why wouldn't we? Okay, it looks like uh there we go okay so we're good all right so here's the card i gave you the little sneak peek of this morning and i'm quite certain you picked out most of what i was going to be using but i'm betting you didn't realize i was going to use the covered in sunshine stamp set now this one is kind of a flyover it it i think it's well overlooked for the most part but it's really pretty and it's got beautiful big sentiments on it you can see that they are really taking up most of most of the space of what would be a card front. So it's a quick and easy way to get a nice bold statement um, and just add a little bit of DSP. And in this case, a pretty garland of daisies from Dainty Delight, which is, oh, by the way, back in the online store, the Dainty Delight bundle is back. Hey, Jean, you got your iced tea, there you go. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'll go crazy, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right, so all the measurements will be on my blog post tomorrow, so you do not even need to take notes. You can just listen or get your earplugs out in case I sing again. <laughs> okay, all right, I have got a balmy blue card base here. And I am going to adhere a piece of By the Bay DSP. So part of the reason I've been using this is because I kind of want to show that you don't have to use this just for nautical cards, okay? It's easy to think, oh, I've got to put fish or I have to put seashells. But no, you don't. I put flowers. So I am going to, this is a full-size panel, which means it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to adhere it right to the front of my card base. All right, I need to enlist your help, y'all. When I made this card yesterday, there was a, a challenge, a sketch challenge, and it had these two rectangles, and then it had some uh, strips across the bottom behind it. And I got a little jiggy with that. I interpreted it this way, but I cannot for the life of me remember what the challenge was. If anybody recognizes this sketch, could you let me know in the comments? I would really, really appreciate it. You can't afford a carriage. There won't be any marriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. There you go. You know, it's an interesting note, and I know you didn't ask, but we actually had a tandem, i.e. a bicycle built for two, when I was growing up. And we, my dad and I, or my dad and my brother and I, sometimes Joe rode on the front handlebars, which at least one time out of the whole time we did that was, it was, it, we came a cropper, I'm just going to say. But it was fun. But I always thought I was so clever because I'd pick my feet up off of the pedals and put them on the center bar. And so my dad would be <laughs> chugging along, thinking he was getting help from the back. And he wasn't. <clears throat> no. He wasn't even getting any help from me, the, the child in the back. <coughs> All right. Okay, so that is adhered. And I have taken a deckled rectangle. And it is actually the fourth from the largest. Okay, so fourth from the largest deckled rectangle. And I used it to cut out another design of the By the Bay DS DSP. And we are going to adhere that with a little bit of liquid glue, like a shoe, just a, like a shoe. All right, so that's gonna set and dry, and I'm going to pull out my Stampopotamus, and I have already placed a piece of the wood grain. This is my favorite of, the, of all the designs, and there's some really good ones, but this is my favorite, right in the Stamparatus already, and I'm going to place this sentiment in place. And really all I wanna be sure of is that I have room to cut out this same size deckled rectangle, right? But I'm just gonna use this because with that kind of bold DSP uh, wood grain, I need to be sure I have a nice um, stout, <laughs> a nice stout image. And yes, Faith, I am certain he was aware. I am certain he was aware. 
And we lived in Southern California. It wasn't like there were a lot of hills. It was we went around the block on pavement. It wasn't it wasn't terribly onerous. All right, so this is Night of Navy. I'm going to give it another stamp, possibly two. We'll see how it looks. I just want it to be kind of bold. Okay, there we go. I like it. That's plenty. So while well, that kind of ah from Brazil. Uh, Jaina? Jaina? Uh, I think that's right. I'm not sure. I hope, I hope I said that right. Uh, welcome. And, uh, Buon Norte. And I screwed that up. I'm, com I'm not going to do it again because I don't want to be, I don't want to be, you know, rude. Okay, so let me put this away. The Night of Navy, like many of the dark colors, takes just a second to dry. That pigment is a little bit stouter. So, I think it's good now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around behind me and I'm gonna cut this with that fourth from the largest deco rectangle. Just one second. I always feel like you guys know how I'm cutting this out, so I really don't think it's terrible that I'm not doing it on camera. And I promise it will shake the table to the point that you won't like it. You'll need your Gramamine. Yep, you will need your Gramamine. Okay, here we go. Pretty, eh? Yes, I like it. I say so myself. Mm -hmm. Cold and sunny. Yes, you know, we, we had sunny most of the day here, but the wind is just, whew, it is really blowing pretty good. Uh, just enough to make it, it, it's quite raw outside. Finn and the ladies are fine, in fact, happy. Um, but Wayne and I are like, uh, no, we were ready for spring. We thought it was spring. All the dogwoods are blooming. The azaleas are blooming. Everything's coming up. Winter just hasn't quite got the memo yet. Okay. I've done some die cutting, actually a lot of die cutting. Aren't you glad that I did the die cutting ahead of time? So let us take an inventory of our things. I have made a veritable bouquet of flowers. This is singularly my favorite flower die cut. See, I thought so too, Shirley, but I, when I go to it, I'm getting the wrong sketch. So either I screwed up or or my computer, maybe it's a cookie. I'll, I'll double check. Thank you. That's the one I wanted it to be because I kind of do three or four along the week and, and it was the day for that. So I don't know. I will double check that again. Thank you so much. All right. So if this isn't your favorite flower of all time, why? Why isn't it? It is the cutest darn thing. You can use it single, or you can double it up to make more like a chrysanthemum, a chrysanthemum, or like a double double flower daisy, which I think are gorgeous. But I'm using them in their simple single form. And of course, you've also got the little half daisies, which I think are darling. So I've got three or four of each, actually three of each. And remember, these little guys wanna be that direction, not, not this direction, which is the direction I always think. And then we have some other little flowers. This is a cool die because this little die set right here, this little die cuts out all four flowers at once, which is very, very handy and efficient, very efficient. You know me, I'm all about efficiency. So I've got a bunch of those, and then I use the little flower center die, which is this one, to cut um, a flower center for each one. Now these little circles are for the full flower, and the little doohickey guys that look like gumdrops are for the half ones, okay? And gumdrop is how you wanna put it on. It's a little bit hard to decide how it goes, but make it look like a gumdrop and you'll be about right. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna adhere the little centers to the flowers first, and then we're gonna start putting them onto the card front. Yay! Sunny and 23, yeah, see, that's too much cold. Yes, dogwoods already, and they and they are my favorite as well. I love how they look. They, to me, and this is very fanciful, which is just not how I really normally am, but, they look like Christmas lights in the forest because the trees, you know, the pine trees are all still green. Everything is still green. The evergreens are. That, you know, that's why they call them evergreen. Weird, right? 
Uh, anyway, they're all still green, and then those dogwoods are all growing kind of wild. Nothing was planted. It they're all just wild. And they're out there in that green and bright white flowers, and they're beautiful. I just, I love them. They're my favorite thing. So, so far they've managed to escape freezing. I'm just putting a little dab of liquid glue on the base of each of these flowers like that. And then I'm going to make this look like a gumdrop and put it right in the center. And look at that. With one addition of a little die cut, it becomes a flower that is so stinking cute. It's just so stinking cute. I'm getting these all ready, and then we're going to adhere them to the card front. And because this beautiful sentiment already did all the work, that's all there is. That's really all there is. Okay, let's go ahead and put a little bit of liquid glue. This is a soft sea foam stem. I played around with Mossy Meadow. I looked at Shaded Spruce. I considered Evening Evergreen. And in the end, soft sea foam, one out. I just thought it fit the, uh, I thought it really fit the whole color palette quite the best. There we go. We'll just get that adhered down like that. All righty. Got a little glue right there. We're gonna get that off. Get that off with my tweezers. Oop, oop. Gotta let liquid glue sit, Mary. You can't mess with it, Mary. Hello, okay. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do is start adhering some of these little yellow flowers. They're so saffron, and I'm gonna do those with some liquid glue. We're just gonna kind of put them here and there. All right, we're just really kind of making a pretty little garland. A little garland of flowers, so beautiful. And I cut more than I needed just because it's easier to, you know, have them and not need them then need them and not have them. Do you know what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down? You seeing what I'm saying? All righty. Okie dokie, jokey, jokey. Oh, now I have that song in my head. <laughs> Shoot fire. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ah, the red buds are coming. Cool. This is the such a pretty time of year when everything is blooming. And sometimes we have um, big crepe myrtles behind the house, and it takes a minute for them to get going in the spring. And you can't really see them until you're coming back to the house from the barn. And all of a sudden, one day, you'll look up and it'll be like, oh, all the crepe myrtles have decided it's time to bloom and be beautiful. Okay, I am going to take, so I already have my dimensionals as half dimensionals, so I'm gonna cut those in half again and use quota, quota dimensionals to adhere my little daisies and we'll put a quarter dimensional in the middle of each daisy including as it were the half daisies all except one one half daisy is adhered with liquid glue let me see if i didn't hide that there it's gone you know i really ought to just use my tweezers just suck it up mary and use the tweezers for goodness sake Otherwise, you'll be here until the cows come home, which will be a really long time because I don't have any cows. It's one of the few things I don't have. Okay, I don't have chickens either. I wouldn't do good with chickens. About the time a hawk got a chicken, I would be devastated because I'd have named her and she'd have sat in my lap while I was at the barn, and it would just be a whole thing. Okay, so everything except one... Well, that one didn't need one, did it? No. I said all but one, and then I put it right on all of them. What a dork. I got talking about chickens. See, I can't multitask today. I don't know why. All right, so now I'm just going to start adhering these adorable little flowers. God, I love these so much. They are like the perfect size. Sometimes they're so big seeming, and they're just not. They're like the perfect size. I never saw a crepe myrtle until I was about 37. Yeah, we have a lot of them down here. They're very pretty and they come in all different colors, like mostly red and purple, but they're really pretty. I like them. 
Alrighty, all right here. See, this is not very difficult. Thank you, thank you, da Dainty Delight Bundle. Thank you, Stampin' Up! for getting them back. Because we love them so much. We love them so much. That is not a song. Top 10, top 900 million and trillion. No, it's not a song at all. It's one I just completely made up. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. Just put them on however makes you feel happy. Daisies are happy maker flowers. All right, so there's that last one. And then this little guy right here, I'm going to put him on with a little liquid glue. You have never heard of a crepe myrtle, huh? Hmm. Well, you should Google them because they're pretty. They're pretty. All right. And then I'm just going to slide this little guy right under here like that. And I'm not even putting any bling on this one. Mm -mm. It's just straight up just like that, right? Pretty cool. Okay, so on the inside, I'm going to mat a piece of basic white on some Knight of Navy, but first I am going to stamp a sentiment from Dainty Delight in uh, Knight of Navy. And I have already double checked, but I'm just gonna remind you what I do when I when I have these. They're called cling, and they're the red rubber ones, as opposed to the photopolymer, which are the clear ones that you can see through. But when you have one of the cling, I do like to do a stamp ahead of time, trying to line up on my grid paper so that I can be sure that if I'm stamping straight, I'm gonna get straight. And if I'm not going to be, I can compensate for that before I get to my cardstock, okay? But it looks pretty straight. So I did a pretty good job with the sticker and Stampin' Up! did a pretty good job engraving that rubber. So I'm just gonna stamp it right in the middle, like that. And then we can put away my Knight of Navy so that I do not have a, an catastrophe. Now, in the bottom corner, I'm going to stamp this little grassy image from Dandy Delight in soft as sea foam. And because I am all about efficiency, all about efficiency, I'm going to do it on my envelope at the same time. Okay. And then I'm going to pull out my So Saffron ink pad. And I'm going to stamp the sun from Covered in Sunshine. Now, Covered in Sunshine is kind of fun because it not only has those big sentiments, but it also has some images that you can use to decorate. And you know me, I want to decorate the inside of my card and I want to decorate the front of my envelope. So I like it when there's sentiments and images all in the same set. But in this case, I really did kind of want to play with all of it. So here we go. So on the inner liner, I'm going to stamp the sun up in this top corner because that's where a sun ought to be. But down on the envelope, I'm going to stamp it right here, just kind of part way off of the envelope like that. Easy peasy. Crepe myrtle in the backyard. I'll bet they are just, they are very, very showy plants for sure. Alrighty. Now I have the light so saffron and light soft sea foam stamp and blends. So I'm going to color the grass just a little bit with the soft sea foam, like that. And those leaves, we'll do the inner liner at the same time. Like that. And these are very tiny, so I am using the bullet end. And then we'll use the uh, soft, uh, so saffron, sorry to color the little flower guys. The little flower guys, or gals, I don't know. I don't know. They're just flowers, pretty little flowers. It's my little world. They're my little flowers. Okay, there we go. Isn't that so sweet? I love the color combo on this. It's so springy. It's so springy and springy. Okie doke. I know, it's very much an over, a flyover set, Jean, but it's really pretty. And there's some real cute scent, um, samples with it, so some things to do with it that are fun. All right, so once again, we have a Knight of Navy mat, and then it's just gonna go inside our 
balmy blue card base. Very simple. I mean, even the die the die cutting is easy, and putting on all those little die cuts is is easy peasy. So this is an easy card. Does it take a second? Sure, but whatever. It's a handmade card. It's supposed to take a second. If all the cards were easy peasy, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be so special, right? So this one is easy. It just takes a hot second. All righty, here we go. And really, thanks to the By the Bay DSP, it gets a lot of oomph really fast without a lot of work. It really does. Because truthfully, if you really wanted to, you could just put this panel on the front, do these two die cuts, maybe put a gem or two, and call it good. Leave the daisies completely off. You could completely leave the daisy portion off. And then you could just stamp the sun on the inside, and it would match perfectly with the sentiment on the front, and you'd be ready to go. And that would be super easy and super quick, just saying. All right, so let's give this the world's quickest fussy cut. And we're going to be, as they say in some industries, somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. See, I got that because it's got a rainbow in it. Okay, it was random. It was kind of a random association there. I'm sorry. All righty, there we go. And there we have two pretty cards from Dainty Delight and the flyover covered in sunshine. Get this get this while you've got a chance, guys. It's fun. It's got really pretty sentiments. I just can't tell you what it is what a gift it is to call you my friend. How often could you use that? Really? All right, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I appreciate you spending part of your weekend with me. And hopefully I'll see you next Thursday for a video at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.